what up? I'm Chibo Carey, and today we're gonna get into how I bring these crazy characters from my brain to the canvas in Photoshop. First things first, cereal. Once I have my cereal, I'll open up Photoshop on my iPad, grab the brush tool, and start with a super janky sketch. When I get to something I like, I clean it up, but not too much to where it loses its charm, because I like those shaking lines. But you know how little kids draw with crayons in their fists? I want people who see my art to feel like I did that same thing. It's best just to start simple. I only use the brush, paint bucket, and eraser for the first year I was messing around in Photoshop. Big emphasis on the eraser. Then I discovered the last one elliptical tools. If you need a starter kit, that's it. I grew up watching a lot of anime and cartoons and their simplicity inspires me a lot. But those were made with just a few colors and simple lines. And when you look at my art, a lot of the time I'm just paint bucketing in four or five colors and just some simple lines too. So don't feel like you need to go crazy to make things look good. Oh, but make sure you're working layers though. That was a game changer for me. It keeps things organized, especially if you want to dip into some frame animation. My layers have so many dumb names, just name them whatever. And go on and put your own characters and interest into your work. My friends, the video games I play, the fashion I'm into, they all end up in there somehow. Just trust your instincts and be willing to try stuff. There's still things I don't know about Photoshop, but that's exactly what's great about it. There's always something new to discover. 